Hi, and welcome to the ballroom here at Longwood Gardens. My name is Don Kinnear, and I'll be, let's see, your organist, uh, choir director, maybe, uh, a little bit of a tour guide, and sort of your general host as we go through our holiday sing-along. So, uh, I invite you to sing wherever you happen to be, no matter how embarrassing it may be. You know, maybe you're alone, that's not too bad. Maybe there's a whole bunch of people around you. Invite them to sing along too. Here we go. An old Burl Ives favorite, it's called Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. go. Now, on to our next piece. This is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now, most of you know the words to this, but there are words that have been added on to the ends of the lines. Uh, your grandkids, or maybe your kids probably know them. Uh, they're what we would call antiphonal words. They echo at the ends of the lines. So, for instance, get my sheet music here. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Reindeer had a very shiny nose, like a light bulb. And if you ever saw it, saw it, you would even say it glows, like a flashlight. All of the other reindeer, reindeer, used to laugh and call him names, like Pinocchio. They never let poor Rudolph, Rudolph, join in any reindeer games, like Monopoly. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, ho, 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 Rudolph with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him as they shouted out with glee, yippee! You know. Uh, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history like George Washington or like Tom Edison, you know, the light bulb thing. Anyhow. Uh, let's work our way through Rudolph as we come to the extra words, sing them out, and when we get to the yippee, turn it loose. Everything you got, especially if you're out in public, because people will look at you in a wonderfully funny way. Here we go, Rudolph. work. That was astonishing. Uh, I don't know whether you know this or not, but I can actually hear you here. Uh, you know, this whole thing of online and internet, uh, it's two-way. So 
I think your yippee for the most part was pretty good, so I'm not going to go back and do that again. Or maybe I am, because some of you, I don't think you really let it all out. So we're just going to take the last four lines, and this time, when we come to the yippee, turn it loose. Give it everything you've got. Great work, great work. All right, let's move on and sing some more. This tune is, actually it's an old one, it's from back around 1851. Uh, the original title was One Horse Open Sleigh, but nowadays we know it as Jingle Bells. And uh, here's, here's how this is going to work. Now, the, the tempo of this song is actually suggested in words in the song. Uh, get a bobtail nag, 240 for his speed. Well, in this case, 240 means two furlongs in 40 seconds. Now, two furlongs is a quarter of a mile. So a quarter of a mile in 40 seconds, pulling a sleigh over the ice and the snow, this is a real serious race. Now, I did some calculation and figured out how fast the horses have to clip and clop, and this is what it sounds like. Here's the tempo we're taking this. All right, could I have my uh, musicians here, uh, my sleigh ballast and my horse clopper uh, join in? We're just going to rehearse this just a little tiny bit. Here we go. Uh, this is a time uh, when subtlety and nuance make no difference whatsoever. So it's just every man for himself, every woman for herself, and we'll see if we can get out of this alive. Anyway, uh, I'm going to start this with a fanfare, then I'm going to set that tempo, and then I'm going to bring you in with some kind of loud sound for the melody. So anyway, here's the fanfare. to our vast percussion ensemble out here. Uh, brilliant work. I, I, I do apologize for, for picking up the tempo quite a bit at the end there, but I had to do it because this is a sleigh race. And hey, I wanted to win. What can I say? Uh, we're going to just slow down and do something a little quieter now. <clears throat> this is probably one of the 
one of the more familiar hymn tunes, or hymns actually, because we're going to use two tunes for this. Uh, the original piece was written in Philadelphia. Uh, it was written by, the, actually the words were written by Phillips Brooks, and the music was composed by Lewis Henry Redner. Uh, Brooks was a pastor, and Redner was, as it happened, an organist, and they got to know each other and collaborated on this. Now, we're familiar with the tune to O Little Town of Bethlehem, but if you were going to travel over to the UK, for instance, and found yourself in and around London, and at Christmas time, of course, and wanted to sing O Little Town of Bethlehem, and you pulled out the tune that you know, they would look at you oddly. Because, as it happens, that's not the tune they use. Because over in the UK, they use a wonderful tune. The tune name is called Forest Green, whereas the American version is called St. Louis, probably after Lewis Henry Redner, who wrote the music. Anyhow, uh, Forest Green is a tune. It's part, it, it was taken from an old British folk song, but arranged by their brilliant composer, Rafe Vaughan Williams, or as we might say here in the United States, Ralph. Anyhow, this is O Little Town of Bethlehem. Oh, just so you know how we're going to do this, I forgot to give you the instruction. Uh, we're going to do the American tune, St. Louis, on the first and the third verses, and we're going to do the British tune, Forest Green, on the second verse. So it's a bit of a challenge. And just so you're not too terribly challenged, let me play once through Forest Green so you can hear what it sounds like. <clears throat> Here we go, American tune first, and then the British tune, and then back to the American tune.
Nicely done. I could even hear some British accents as we did the second verse. Hope you've had a good time. Uh, I certainly have here uh, playing these Christmas songs at the magnificent Longwood Aeolian organ. So uh, I'm finished with my particular part here. Have a wonderful holiday. Uh, great New Year. Stay safe.